when an athlete begin in a standing position, force his opponent down to a seated position or laying down, or keep him at least three seconds on the floor, he shall be awarded two points. When an athlete force his opponent to the ground to forward position or third position, he must keep at least one of his opponent's knee on the floor, controlling his hips for at least three seconds, and then the referee will award two points for the takedown. Any sweep attempt where the athlete stand up for three seconds will be considered a standing fight. If one of them force his opponent down for three seconds, it will be considered a takedown and he's gonna get two points. In a single or double leg takedown, where the opponent lands seated and successfully apply a counter takedown, only the athlete executing the counter takedown shall be awarded the score. When the athlete starts a takedown attempt and his opponent gets a standing back control with one or two hooks in place and has no foot on the floor, the athlete performing the takedown shall receive the related score. When the athlete has a grip on his opponent's pants and the opponent pulls to the open guard, the athlete with the grips on the pants shall be awarded two points for the takedown if he keeps his opponent on the ground for at least three seconds, keeping the top control. If the athlete has a grip on the opponent's pants and the opponent pulls to close guard and remains suspended in the air, the athlete must put his opponent back on the ground within three seconds and keep the top position control for more than three seconds to be awarded with two points for the takedown. When an athlete achieves a takedown but the opponent is returned to his feet within three seconds. When an athlete forces his opponent to ground on all fours and tries to control his hips but fails to do it, then it will be scored an advantage to him. When the athlete forces his opponent to the ground in the outlined safety area and his opponent rolls out combat area, he's going to get an advantage. When an athlete applies a series of takedowns and the opponent returns to their feet before stabilization is achieved on the ground, he shall be awarded with an advantage when there is no longer the possibility of completing the takedown attempt. In the situation where the athlete takes his opponent down and from guard or half guard he is swept, he will receive an advantage for the takedown and his opponent two points for the sweep. When the athlete applies a takedown and ends on side control and his opponent turns going to the top control, only the athlete who applied the takedown will be rewarded with an advantage. When the athlete forces his opponent to the ground, but he lands outside the safety area. When an athlete forces his opponent to the ground on full forward position or belly down, and don't try to get the back clinch, stay in front of his opponent, he will not get any score. In case of sprawl defense, when the athlete goes to back clinch, he will not be awarded with any score. Any sweep attempt where the athlete stands up less than three seconds, and the athlete forced the opponent back to the ground, he will not get any score for this. This movement will be considered a sweep defense. In a back take attempt, where the opponent has no foot on the ground, the standing athlete will not receive two points for takedown. Any movement starting from the knees, where the athlete stand and perform a takedown, shall not receive any score. A single leg takedown attempt where the athlete leaves the match in a standing position will not be rewarded with an advantage anymore. When an athlete in a takedown attempt from his opponent exits the match in a non technical way in order to avoid being put down, we will receive a penalty for this and his opponent two points.